probably has around three to six months of experience. But what's great about him is he knows how to go easy. He understands how to slow down and feel everything. So for this role, I told him, I said, let's start off. I haven't warmed up yet. And normally I don't trust a white belt to warm up, but I trust Vincenzo. So today I'm warming up with him. We're just moving around right now with the understanding that eventually we're gonna ramp it up. But even when that happens, he's still, I would say the perfect example of how you should roll when you're a white belt. Because if you charge at me like a bull, kind of the way Chris did in the early videos, it's gonna force me to submit you faster. And you're not gonna learn anything. With these, with, when you come at me a little slower, you'll still get submitted eventually, but you'll kind of see how it happened. It's like watching a card trick in slow motion. So here I'm just spinning. I'm, I'm using like experimental positions. Not really trying to attack him. Just moving around. Or what some people call flow rolling. There's also a gentleman's agreement between us that we're not gonna submit each other. There I got him with a good butterfly sweep, but again, it was done very gently in a non-competitive way that let him really feel the mechanics of it. Rather than just pop it into a butterfly sweep, like when Marcelo Garcia would sweep me with a butterfly sweep, I would just go flying. I didn't get a chance to learn the mechanics of it. The intricacies, the nuances. And as you always hear with jujitsu, the devil is definitely in the details. So now I got a butterfly hook, I have half guard. But the point is, in a few more months when you see how much Vincenzo will improve in that time based on his approach and his attitude. He's a purple belt now, right? They're allowed to come late. <laughs> So there, instead of fighting for dear life to keep him in my full guard and hitting him with a hundred attacks before he could realize what was happening, I just went very slowly. And he wanted to get out and I let him out. And then I hit that sweep, which if you watch my channel, you've seen it many times. And yes, I talk when I roll with Vincenzo. Because at certain points, it's good to intervene and give him a lesson. And he listens. And he applies it pretty quickly. So here I'm teaching him make his body into a ball. That way I can't maintain the mount. It's a, it's a, a form of a mount escape. Right, because my knees become too spread apart, then he could bring his knees back in and then he's basically out of mount. Now, there are other answers to that. So here I'm looking for the Dars. We're picking up the pace a little bit. We're already almost five minutes in, so we're warm. And we're warm in a functional way. So here I'm looking for the Dars. And I think I finished it there. <laughs> so 
So now he's trying to figure out my guard, and I'm giving him time to do it. Here, again, you see this a lot for me. I like to grab the arm on the right side, put my left foot on his hip, and start to threaten that arm drag to cause a reaction. So there I got the butterfly sweep, but he defended, and then I switched to the front snap down position. And from there, he didn't put his right arm out, so he didn't prevent me from going to the back. Now, if I wanted to, I could have ran all the way around, threw both hooks in pretty easily. But I'm being a little experimental. I want to see how he spins. And I want to keep our bodies connected. Because once I give him room, it gives back his muscles, his biceps, all his strengths come back. When my body's pressed against his, strength doesn't matter as much. So now I'm in like a quarter mount. When he went to push me off, I just went with him, basically to the back. I'm just trying to flow with him. I've been watching all of Marcelo Garcia videos that have been coming out lately. There's been a, a lot of them documenting his run. And he was so fluid, and his ability to stick to somebody was very impressive to me. Also, his game was simple. But he was so good at it that people couldn't prevent it. They knew what he was going to do. It was no secret. The arm drag to the choke. So here I'm experimenting by keeping his arm up, but we're not quite in the spider web. I have his head in my lap. I just want to see how little I could do to control a big, strong, young person that doesn't know jiu-jitsu. So that's, yeah, that's one of the options. He's going to turn to his knees. Now from there, I could either take the guillotine or spin to his back when I notice that his arm is not there to defend. So right now I have my hand under his throat and it's not comfortable. Now I think I'm covering his mouth. He's laughing. So I think he's 23 years old and he's an engineer. So he's already making a lot of the right decisions in life. And I'm sure his ability to analyze and problem solve will serve him well in jiu-jitsu. I would say in the not so distant future, he'll be giving me a hard time. And it'll be great to look back on these videos and there's Vincenzo's first role on the channel as a white belt. We have a tendency in life to forget about how things are gonna age. You have to think about how things are gonna age. I'm a wedding photographer. When I take a photo, I just don't think of that moment. I think, how's this photo gonna look in 30, 40, 50 years? Is it going to look cheesy, or is it going to be where they're saying, wow, that, they had a good photographer? I'm, I'm happy that I have some of my roles at Blue Belt. I wish I had more at White Belt. As a new White Belt, I'd love to see myself but I promise you, I wasn't as good as Vincenzo is behaving now. I was more like Chris from the Taming a White Belt video. I was like Chris without the strength. So here I'm pressuring his arm into his chest. He doesn't think that's comfortable, so he's turning into me, giving me the dars. I'm trying to tie it up. He got to his knees. 
I could have switched to the guillotine there, but I was so on the side. I decided not to. And there he was able to pull his head up and reset the position. So now I'm just explaining to him that if he does come in with his head down and get caught in that position, he has to realize that the intention of his head has to be towards the ceiling, not towards the wall. Because if he comes in with his head down, I'm just going to have a much easier time getting the guillotine. And if somebody's good at getting the guillotine, it'll be that much easier and that much more detrimental. So there he's trying to roll around my guard. I almost took his back. He's done that before. He's very experimental in a good way. He takes chances. He's not stiff. He tries to stay loose. You know, all you white belts watching out there, I would look to him as an example of how to be and how to feel. Because then guys will go easier on you. If you jump all over some brown belt, he's, he's, he's going to let you have it, you know? But if you come at him easy with, and respectfully, he'll be easy and respectful. And you have a lot more to learn from him than he does from you. I went to open mat, there's my tripod sweep. Again, if you watch the channel, you've seen it a million times. And he watches the channel, and he's seen it a million times, but similar to Marcelo, if you get one thing to the highest level, you can implement it whenever the opportunity shows itself, no matter how small the window. With Marcelo, all Kron had to do is leave his head out one time and he lost that match by guillotine. And he tapped quick. So here again, I'm trying to explain that we're back on that principle because he keeps coming in with his head down. And I'm showing him how easy it is to guillotine. And I'm also showing him if you put your head towards the ceiling, you could reverse that position. Because you're supporting your neck and head with your whole body by punching up. It's kind of like a wrestling sit-out, basically. There you go. But I don't want to give him too many things at one time. Because to us, it's something you might we're used to. We, you know, we think we take it for granted. But to somebody else, there's a lot of moving parts. So if he could get the part with his head first, then I'll show him the footwork to come up and out. Oh. I think that ends the round, or two rounds. It's been almost 15 minutes. But again, thank you for watching. If you enjoy the channel and you find the content valuable, feel free to support by checking out my merch store or buying me a coffee. Both links are in the description. Please like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you all on Sunday. Thanks again. Vince, 22, 200 pounds, lying. He's like a chick on Tinder.